What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Travis and I produce content for homeowners and upcoming heating and air technicians teaching you everything you need to know about heating and air. And on today's service call, what we're going to be doing is uh, changing out a defrost control board and a defrost sensor on a carrier heat pump. So basically, if you ever have an issue with your heat pump, you see ice all around it in the winter time, uh, it's just like a block of ice or something, you could be having a, a problem with either your defrost control board board or your sensor so basically anytime you replace your board it's always good practice just go ahead and replace the sensor because they're fairly cheap to replace so guys if you want to see how I do it stay tuned and I'll see you at the unit all right here's the unit we're replacing the defrost uh, uh, control board and sensor now here's our control panel for the heat pump so we got to remove this but first with everything running we got to turn our power off, so we're going to pull our disconnect, and we'll go ahead and take this panel off. And our panel just comes off here, and our defrost board is located up here in the top. Now it's held on with four quarter inch screws. So we're going to take that off and what I always do is I take this uh, connection off of this board because this supplies a low voltage to it and you don't want to by chance short anything out so I take that off first before I start taking it out. Now our defrost sensor are our two pink wires here and that is installed down here inside our um, condenser coil. So we're going to take these, we need to take these screws off here to remove our fan. We can get to our defrost sensor. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, I've got the defrost board unhooked uh, from the screws. Now if you look at this new board, basically everything wires back exactly right. So let me take, let me take this and we'll start um, taking the wires off. First, we go take off our defrost sensor. We go put it to our base for our defrost sensor on our new board. All right. Next, we want to take off our Y wire, our yellow wire. We will hook it right here to Y. All We go take off our Molex plug here. We go plug it to our Molex connection here. All right, and the only thing we got left is our two condenser fan motor wires. We go take those off and put them like this relay. So basically all we got left is our Molex plug with our 24 volt connection. We're going to wait, go ahead and put our, our quarter inch screws back in, then we'll plug that up. Okay, now that we've got our board secured back in with our screws, we can go ahead and hook our 24 volt section back. Now we took off the, we put back our default sensor, but we're replacing this sensor. So what we're going to do is our sensor is located right here on our coil. You can see it. It's held on by a little little clip. We're going to t remove that clip. See we got our default sensor taken loose here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clip this little strap we're going to pull a wire through here to take our defrost sensor out. Okay, we got our defrost sensor out. Here's our new sensor. And as you can see in the bag, it comes with another metal clip. All we want to do is take that clip, hook it right there where the other sensor was, was hooked up to. 
we're going to take the wire, run it through that hole, and we'll plug it right back up to our control board. All right, we got our new sensor on. We got the wire pulled through the hole. And now what we're going to do is hook it right up to our control board itself. Now guys, anytime you're doing a defrost control, uh, what I would suggest is is always replace the defrost sensor. Um, they're they're very cheap, and if you're going to the expense of putting a new board in, it's just go ahead and good uh, to replace the defrost sensor just to make sure there's no problems with it because they are problematic, and um, and it's just always good practice to replace the defrost sensor anytime you do a board. So now all we got to do is we got to put our fan back on. We'll pop our screws back in the top, and then what we'll do is we'll start her up and uh, run this thing through a defrost cycle, and just to make sure everything's going through now. Okay, how we go run this through a defrost cycle to check it? If you see on the top of this control board, you see it has uh, two little pins. It's called speed up. What we want to do is we want to jumper those pins because that what that's going to do is that's going to speed up our time defrost. And when the sensor closes that we replaced, uh, it'll send this, this board through defrost. Now how we want to um, rush up the coil getting, getting frosted and getting cold enough and to close our defrost sensor is we're going to remove our, one of the wires for our condenser fan motor. What that's going to do, the system's going to run without the fan going. The coil will start icing up and when the sensor closes, it'll go ahead and um, go through defrost. So let's go ahead and put our power back in. So we got it started. Our motor's not running. Now what we're doing is, like I say, waiting for it to get cold enough to go through. And by doing this, this will test our sensor to make sure our sensor is closing properly. And it'll also um, check our, our defrost control board. Alright guys, everything is going through defrost now. Once it started, I took my jumper pins off. And as you can see, the fan motor is not, is not working because it's going through defrost. And we just want to wait for a few seconds, well, for about a minute or so for this thing to come back out of defrost. So the coil is starting to warm up, so it's getting warm enough to melt off any ice. Alright, well it came out of defrost, our fan started back, and everything's going good. So guys, anytime you replace your, your defrost control, especially if you're doing it with a factory board, um, it's very easy to do. Basically all you're doing is just replacing wire for wire. Uh, one of the good things with this is uh, we replace the defrost sensor and like I said before anytime you're doing a defrost control uh, They're not much more give the customer more than their money's worth go ahead and replace the defrost sensor uh, It'll save them problems in the past and um, in the future and uh, And just you know makes everything completely done with defrost so they don't have to worry about it So guys very easy service call to do like I say with having factory parts is very easy. So guys, I hope you learned something. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. It means so much to me. And as always, I will see you on the next service call. Bye, guys.